I'm Rachel White with the Horizon League here with Scott and Aggie, head coach of the Wright State men's basketball team. First coach, just talk about what you've been up to, how you've kind of been staying busy during this uh, different time. Well, we have, we have five kids, so we have more people at the house than most people do. And, and so we, you know, we've been able to stay busy and stay entertained. And it's been a blessing in some respects because just like everybody else, we've had a chance to spend more time with our family. Uh, normally in April in particular, I would be gone quite a bit recruiting and, and haven't been able to do that. So I've been around my family quite a bit more and it's been a lot of fun for me. Great. And how have you been staying in touch with your team with everyone kind of at their own houses right now? Well, we divide it up among the coaches every week and, and try to call them and stay in touch with them. And we've done, you know, we do some Zoom meetings on top of that where everybody has a chance to, to, to see everybody else face to face. And uh, so, you know, probably no different than, than what most people are doing. We're not, we're not re requiring them to send us videos of them working out. You know, we're trusting that they're doing the things that they're, that they're capable of doing. A lot of them don't even have places to shoot or lift. And so they're just having to do some other things and we're just asking them not to make excuses. Yeah. And is there a thing that you're kind of looking forward to being able to do or a place you're looking forward to being able to go when kind of some of these restrictions are lifted? Well, probably for our family, you know, it would be being able to see uh, uh, my parents and, you know, for my wife, her parents, uh, we just obviously spend a lot of time talking to them, but don't get to see them. And uh, so we're, we're anxious to get back with them and get face to face. And you're obviously the chair of our head men's basketball coaches group um, in the league. And I know you guys have been having a lot of calls. What kind of different topics have you guys been discussing during this time? Well, we normally wouldn't meet as much as we are, but we have so much more time. We thought we would just meet weekly and, and just spend some time discussing things that, that are important to us. It's, it's difficult just because we don't even know what the landscape is yet in terms of financially, how it's going to impact everybody. We, it's, it's a little bit like misery loves company right now because we're all having to make cuts and, and do some very difficult things. And we know everybody else is too. So uh, we, we discussed that. We're, we're talking about the Horizon League tournament and, and the things that we would like to happen, uh, you know, as we've added another team in, in Fort Wayne. And, you know, we're just, we're just trying to clean up some things uh, in terms of all-conference voting, things like that. Uh, and, and so it's, it's been good. We, we've just had a chance to meet more and talk more, and I think that's been good for everybody. It's great. And can you talk a little bit about why you got into coaching? Um, what do you really love about, about being in this profession? I got into it uh, primarily because my dad was in it. It's, I grew up and it's what I knew. I, you know, I played basketball and played college basketball and he didn't want me to go into coaching. Uh, you know, and I know why after being in it, but, but also I, I think every job has, you know, things that, that are, are negatives and, um, uh, you know, for, for the one thing about coaching is when you have a bad day, everybody knows it where there may be some other jobs, people have a bad day. Not everybody knows. And, and so, but you go into that, particularly when you grow up in a family like I did, you go into it knowing that. And so there aren't excuses for me when it comes to that. And I don't spend any time complaining about that, but it's, it, it's been good for me in a lot of ways, just because, and I was just discussing this with my wife yesterday, it keeps me young uh, you know, I hang around young people, and uh, so so just like even with technology and things like that, I have a better idea than most people do my age how to do things, and uh, just, you know, hanging around younger guys, I have to be able to keep up with them for sure, and, and then when you recruit them also, you have to be able to com communicate the way they communicate, and so it has kept me younger. It's awesome. All right, now we're just going to do some more kind of getting to know you questions, really super basic. Um, if you want to expand upon your answer, you can. If it just kind of speaks for itself, that's fine too. So the first one is just, what's your favorite movie? Uh, um, I, I don't know. I, I've always been kind of a, a romantic comedy guy for, for whatever reason. Uh, Notting Hill has always been one of my favorites. Makes me laugh out loud. I uh, really like Caddyshack. I've always enjoyed that. And so uh, I'm definitely a big comedy guy for sure. I like it. I like movies that make me laugh out loud, which is hard to do. But Notting Hill has always been able, uh, been able to make me do that. 
That's awesome. Similarly, a lot of people are sort of binging TV right now. Is there like a TV show that you've watched like multiple times or you love to just sit down and watch several episodes in a row? Well, I'm not, uh, you know, I've never been a Netflix guy up until this point. Now, my wife has is, is, uh, influenced me greatly and helped me become a little bit more hooked on Netflix. And the one show that, that we kind of made our way through the three seasons of was Ozark. Uh, and it's, you know, it, it was hard for me at first because it's so twisted and uh, it makes me very uncomfortable. And again, I like shows that make me laugh, uh, but but I enjoyed that. And, you know, I would say we we probably watch, uh, uh, you know, reruns of Everybody Loves Raymond as much as we can, because, again, that's a show that, that makes me laugh out loud. Gotcha. Um, do you have a favorite food? My favorite food is is probably pizza. Uh, pepperoni pizza. Great. Um, do you have a favorite like tradition that you do with your team? That's a good question. Uh, I'm trying to think of the traditions we have. Well, probably yeah, probably one of my favorite days, and I know it's well. I know it's the team's one of their favorite days is the last day of conditioning before we start practice, uh, and and so you know we try to make a little bit of a celebration. But one of the things we do when we're done is we we uh, play a game of wiffle ball, and I, I'm pretty sure we've done that every year that I've been a coach, uh, all, all 25 years, and I think maybe once or maybe twice the players have won uh and so the coaches it, it helps that i set the rules and uh you know I'm, I'm the ultimate umpire so but but the coaches have done very well against the players that's awesome and then last one do you have a favorite community service activity um that you've done with your teams yeah we've done we've done uh several several shoe distributions uh, with our teams. So we work with Samaritan's Feet and we, we, we've taken a team to Haiti. We've taken a team to the Dominican Republic. And, um, uh, you know, we, we've gone to downtown Dayton here uh, every year and, and done a shoe distribution down there at the Life Enrichment Center for people. And it's, you know, in a shoe, in a shoe distribution, you sit down and you uh, uh, wash the person's feet and you give them a brand new pair of socks and brand new pair of shoes. And, so I think, you know, it's, we've been able to serve the community, whether, whether we're overseas or right here in Dayton, we've been, up, been able to serve those people. And really the best part about it is, and you don't do it for this reason, but, but you end up getting blessed more than the people you think you're blessing. That's awesome. Well, really appreciate your time today, Coach, and uh, looking forward to talking to you soon, but really appreciate it. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Rachel.